Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging Grand Prix. We're oh, here at the Marina Singapore Bay Street sling. Circuit today, located in the heart of Singapore. The Hello, circuit and welcome back to another episode corners, of my team Formula left, One 2021 career right. mode. It's a track We're at that's Singapore. Technical. So don't expect um, to see the for drivers taking too today's much race, and, and this is going to be very, very difficult. It's a track that I've always loved, um, and it shows in qualifying. Um, first things first, you're going to be a bit shocked by the pole. The Kirk and Sainz are on pole position. You'll be equally surprised when you see who lines up on the second row. Hello. We managed Sebastian to pull it out of the bag again. Um, you might be thinking, Norris, where are the Gasly, two Mercedes cars? Alonso, You're about to Esteban see Alonso. that they actually messed up in qualifying. They Simona, jumped onto the medium tire and Bottas, didn't get through. So Hamilton 11th, Bottas 13th, Bottas, 13th Ricardo, Ricardo Dias 16th. Um, he took Russell, a penalty uh, for his engine. Right so he, Three very the quick cars that are going to be, be sort of mired at the, in the mid the in the mid pack. Um, so this race is open for anyone um, of the drivers, providing that they get a good, clean strategy. However, the weather is telling us that it's going to rain, which could be very interesting. Um, I don't know why it's giving me an alternate strategy for the hard tyres. God, that would be disastrous. Um, but it it's going to come at some point, and that's, that's a little bit of a concern. Uh, let's just have a look and see what the rest of the field are doing. So obviously the top nine are on soft tyres, apart from... Um, Ocon now, Ocon qualified 11th, but because of Ricardo's penalty, um, he moves up a spot. So the medium compound for Ocon backwards uh, through to Giovinazzi. Raikkonen's on the hard, so that could pay off if the rain comes later. Guan Yu's on the mediums. If I'd have qualified outside the top 10, I'd have started on the mediums, tried to do what we did in Hungary, um, but without the end result of crashing into the wall and then seeing how we got on but not sure not sure i'm gonna leave it on there for a second i'm just gonna disappear for one moment Yeah, we've returned. Um, I've got to say, the lap that we did is the best lap I've done all season long. Um, the AI, I think, are a little bit slower around Singapore than what they should be. Um, they've improved around Monaco, but Singapore still seems like the AI are a little bit slower than the, the user. Uh, so let's get into the race, see how we get on. Let's try and engage the clutch, get it right this time. Okay, how was the pull away? You'll have a bit more grip than that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jeff. Not like I'm listening to you. Um, but yeah, the car feels very nice to drive, I have to say. Um, well, again, just like last week, or rather, <laughs> last week, uh, last race at Russia, I'm not expecting a podium and with the rain being thrown up I'm literally looking to get those points that we need to secure 
um, our main sponsor goal bonus. So we need to finish eighth. We're not going to get many more opportunities like this, I can't imagine. So I'm also depending on how the next round goes at Suzuka, I might look to increase the difficulty. Um, we're running 100 at the minute, but I feel I might be too low now. We've had a couple of third place position, you know, high grid positions, and I'm thinking we probably shouldn't be there. So I might increase it to 105, maybe 110. Just depends how Japan goes, because historically, as much as I love Japan, the country, the circuit's never been that great for me. Not terrible, but not brilliant either. So we're almost through this formation lap. Into the fire sector where we feel really strong and I'm not really sure why that is. Seems to really nail it underneath the bridge. And through here. Just tap the wall. Nice one. Okay, that's reforming. Oh, this is going to be tricky. We've just got to get a good launch. Carl's very good through Sector 1, so hopefully we can do it. Ah. Just going to try and survive. We're accumulating some wear on the MGUK. To manage this, we'll need to lower our ERS oh, deployment mode. Jeff. Well, somehow we survived Verstappen and Vettel going either side of us. We've remained in P3. So all that remains now is to try and not stick it into a wall. Science got a great start. Should be, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the race where I'm not going to talk that much. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Shut up, Jeff. Got that confirmed. I do and then not a terrible goal, that's stupid. So that was done. Mm. 
Oh, it's going to be a spin that, I'll tell you that right now. been concentrating so hard I keep forgetting that I cannot take the back of that corner. tires okay the Mercedes on the medium tires because they're just gonna have free rain and don't get me wrong the undercut around this circuit is bloody powerful but this is Mercedes we're talking about who are absolutely incredibly quick we kept the RS there, I don't know, but we're pitting this lap. I'm not taking any risks. Any undercuts will kill us off. So we just need to keep an eye out for the weather. Verstappen is doing exactly the same thing. He might jump us, which is really annoying. Oh, yes! Thank you, game, for bottling that for me. Nice gap to run in now as well. No dirty air to worry about. No soft tyres that are wore down. We've got to push this lap. Want to keep track position.
bunch of cars coming into the pits. Where are we going to feed out? Is it purple final sector? That's the clerk. Oh my god. We have jumped Charles Leclerc. So, we've jumped the Ferrari, that is a surprise. Now what is going to be a challenge? It's not just keeping it out of the wall. But also trying to get past Raikkonen because we are absolutely siphoning into his advantage on the harder compound tyres. Oh, I nearly got that wrong. Ah, oh, that's deep. Coming out of the Anderson Bridge. A little bit slow, I've got to say, that one. Where is Sainz going to feed out? Don't forget the two Mercedes will now be in front because they're on the medium compound tyres. I've just done the fastest lap of the race. And as it stands, we are currently in P1. Yep, P1. As it stands. I don't know what the pace of the Mercedes is going to be like. Because the Mercedes started on the medium tyres. But they started in 10th and 12th. That's quite a big... You know, when we when we pitted, we're about 5-6 seconds ahead of them, so... I've got a push now. The only problem is... We are catching a big group of cars in front of us. And I fear that if Mercedes do win this Grand Prix, it's because we got stuck behind these guys. Look at that, another fastest lap. Crikey, what is... God, it just goes and does the fastest lap to annoy me. Gotta get Mazepin here. Don't try and turn in on me. So we're past the but now we're in this train. Now you think Guan Yu would make it easy, but because he's an AI. Okay. Nearly lost the back end. But because he's an AI, it's not gonna be that easy. Oh. Should I dive bomb him? Yeah. Yes, I will. I'm going to make that move. Atari of Sonoda is so slow. Ah, oh, kind of messed up the final corner. 
And look at that, we've lost two seconds compared to our best lap time, so that is huge. Gonna try it. That'll stop Giovinazzi trying to attack us anyway. Okay, so there's another one down. I'm gonna try it again. Oh my good lord. How have we done that? sure why my damage indicator came up then. It does make me worried. I definitely didn't press anything. Guan Yu is in the pits. Guan Yu in the pits. I think we made contact with Sonoda. Let's just have a watch of this. I didn't feel anything. I think we just cut him up. It goes to the inside, then weaves back. Oh, it's just it's just the merest of touches, and round he goes. It's always out. Oh, cry. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, that accident. Some information on Sonoda. They're retiring from the race. Has just gifted the cars in front of me a free pit stop. And I might have just cost myself a potential race victory here with that. Radar suggests some weather is going to hit in around five minutes' time, so stay on your toes. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. And they can just jump onto fresh, soft compound tyres. And you know the worst thing is 15 seconds. That's, you know, a pit stop in Singapore because it's a 37 mile an hour pit lane. You know, that would have been P1 comfortably. So if they pit now, we've had it. Let's slow that down. I hate this bloody delta, it's so annoying. Well, surely the AI aren't going to be stupid enough to not pit. Yeah, there they are. I have now bolted. This is going to be close. We are going to beat them out. So we are P1. Verstappen has brilliantly got himself into second, and Leclerc has, and Vettel has. That has helped us massively. We are P1. Leclerc's got a five second penalty. Oh, come on. brilliant from him, especially after the weekend at Hungary, of course. He had an amazing, well deserved um, victory. I can't deny that. Spoilers, sorry for anyone who hasn't watched um, the race this weekend. But Ocon was fantastic in the Alpine, managed to fend off Vettel. Um, and he's in fifth. He's going to be the first of the soft tyre runners. But we are P1. P first place, ladies and first place. I'm assuming this safety car is gonna be in not this lap anyway, maybe the next one. So we might have three laps 
of racing, let's just see. Yeah, I think our tyres will be fine for that. I... Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but... I could win this, and... <laughs> you might be sitting there thinking, well, yeah, you've got a good chance at your first, but... This shouldn't be happening. And yet, here we are. Got my ERS back. I don't. I don't know if I caused that for Sonoda. I, I, I did sort of go straight for the corner. It was the, the, the merest of touches. I'm not going to lie. But hey, I really need a wee. I won't lie. <laughs> oh, God. So we've saved a lot of fuel. Shame we can't put it into rich mix, that's a bit annoying. Let's have a look what we've got so far. So we've taken a bit more of a beating on the front right. So 20% for the front right. Obviously our temperatures are going to be going AWOL at the minute whilst we're following the safety car around. Um, our power unit looks... I'm not going to say it, but it looks... you know, it's in the greens. Now the safety in the safety car, that just made me realise there's not going to be any DRS until... well, if the safety car comes in, it won't be any DRS till the final lap. Boys and girls, back at base, must be absolutely having kittens right now. Seeing me in in the lead, I don't, still don't know how I've got here. I thought with the safety car that the two, Mer Ooh. the two Mercedes would get in front of me at the pit stops, but they haven't. This sat in sixth and seventh, so we have to. Pray <laughs> that we can pull this off. Safety car is in this lap, so it's down to me to maintain the speed. So I am now the safety car. I'm going to let it just go. I'm not even going to drive quickly. Let him let, let Bird Mylander do his thing. I'm just going to back it right off. I know where I want to go. Oh, my tyres are cold. Completely bottled it. Here comes Verstappen. Down into turn one, we've managed to just fend him off. Do you know what it was? My tyres were cold. My tyres are still cold. <laughs> we're expecting the rain to hit us any time oh, now. No, the that's forecast what we suggests need. this rain is going to keep getting stronger for at least the next 15 minutes. Dry oh, seem like the best God, tire for now. Why now? Three laps to go. We've got freaking rain. Please just go away. What? This is. This could be an incredible moment. Ruined by the rain. Just depends how quickly it falls. Struggling for traction out the corner. Don't need to worry too much yet, though. We you know, Verstappen doesn't have DRS. But 
but the rain is falling pretty quickly. That's 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 a corner cut. That's just reminded me as well, we've got two warnings already for corner cutting, so we can't do that either. Oh, he comes up the inside. Verstappen, what are you doing? Verstappen, what are you doing? You were never getting through there. Look at this. Let's just have a look back at this. What is he trying to do? I've run a bit deep, but the gap was always going to close. Watch it from Charlie Leclerc's point of view. He's just always going to close that gap. So the Mercs... Uh, actually, where's the other Mercedes? Where's the other... Where's... Why is Bottas all the way down there? Right. In any case, we are now P1. We've got a nearly two-second gap on Leclerc. After Verstappen's... Odd one, I've got to say. The rain is getting harder. But as it stands, with Leclerc's five second penalty, get this for a podium. Me, Vel, Ocon. Oof. The two protagonists of the Hungarian Grand Prix could be on the podium again. I've just got to hold on. This rain's coming down now. And I am really struggling. So we've evaded DRS for this one. Final lap. Yeah, we've evaded DRS on that one. I know the clerk's got a five second penalty, but. Still one more. Oh, oh my god. That's put the cat amongst the pigeons. Over the Anderson Bridge, that's probably the toughest part of the left of this track. Using my ERS, I'm not even chancing it. Oh, that's wide. Good lord. Couple of corners. Couple of. Oh. One corner! One corner! Let's get it right! Yes! Yes! Get in! Race winner! <laughs> yes! I can't believe it! Look at that, changing gear with no hands. That's how good I am. I can't believe it! Another classic Singapore Grand Prix, and they've held on to take the chequered flag here today. And talk to me, what do you think it was we've that sealed the win for them? Well, they played the <laughs> I can't believe it. absolute perfection. Oh, so I can't believe it. Once the race is neutralized, I mean, do you pit the team at Mardock going to get on our garage? How 
much fuel can you save? Poor <laughs> if you answer all of those oh, questions I can't correctly, believe we you won. have a good chance. And that's exactly no way! <sighs> a show-stopping performance yes. of three drivers approaching the podium right now. Look at that podium. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. You're not wrong, Crofty. Look at that. There's um, Tim there just collecting the trophy for the constructors of Hood. Oh, I can't believe we've won. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna just got a quick screenshot of that right at the end. I'm I am in shock. I didn't think that was gonna happen. First race win. Big bunch of XP bonuses to chuck us up the up the tally of it. So let's review the updated driver's side. Got stand. my own profile. Our lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Get that picture. Not going to happen so again this season. It probably won't happen for a long time. Nicholas I cannot Latifi believe we won. And we it's were competitive. That's the thing. Look at the lap time. Yeah, we were right Mercedes on it all the way through. Um, and the team that today was yeah, that's just absolutely wicked. I'm equal parts exhausted um, and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Just can't Be sure believe to join it. Us for the Let's next have a one. quick scroll down. So Boss was 12th in the end. Hamilton ended up 5th. Um, because of their absolute cock up in the um, in qualifying, that thing with Sonoda, I really don't know. I don't think it was my fault. Um, but then again, those that will watch it will probably be the judge of that, not me. <laughs> Let's watch these highlights before we look to the standings. My start was okay. We just sort of had to brave it going into turn one because Verstappen had a really good start. Um, and Vettel came alongside us and we just slotted through the middle. Really just kept it clean. We were tracking the two Ferraris fine all the way through. Um, no issues there. You can see we were just keeping up. That was a bit of a corner cut. That was my first warning actually on the first lap. To, you know, pushing it. I was worried I wasn't going to keep up with the, the Ferraris, but we did. Look how close it was to the oh, little nudge. That was another corner cut. So there were me, those were my two warnings in the opening two laps. But apart from that, we kept it nice and clean. You know, we, we didn't use any um, any of the flashbacks, I don't think. We might have used one, but on the opening lap, because we did something stupid, I think. But other than that, yeah, we were spot on all race long, and these these overtakes were so crucial. When we when we got onto the medium compound side, we had to get past, you know, Mazepin, Guan Yu, Giovinazzi, Schumacher. Like this move was vital. A little bit sideways coming out of the corner, but then just launched it into turn number four. Look at that sideways going out of turn five. Oh, sorry, turn. Four. Yeah, technically the left is turn four, then turn five is the right hander, so had to nail that. And then the, the next one on Schumacher, just straight up the inside at turn eight. And we got him and it was clean and that was it then. We just had to rock it on after Sonoda. And this is, I think this is the incident. So we'll get to see it now from the outside camera. We go to the outside, Sonoda twitches a little bit. It's, it's, it's merely a glance. There's Sonoda. Bang into the wall. Safety car called. I thought it was all over, but no, it wasn't. And then Verstappen goes to the inside and he touches us. I, I don't think anything of that. I really don't. But then we go around the final corner. Leclerc tries to get us around the final corner. But he didn't. And we won on track. And I'm well chuffed. Can't believe it. Leclerc ended up ninth at the end of all that. Um, where did Verstappen end up? Oh, 24th. Oh, Red Bull did not have a good day. So they qualified 4th and 6th and ended up 19th and 21st. So our two, oh, the, to be honest with you, the biggest championship protagonists, that's, you know, Red Bull, Mercedes, and McLaren as well, they didn't have the best of days. Um, it was certainly a day for the other teams. So look at that, we are 12th. 
um, in the driver's standings, which is impossible. Um, we're not gonna. We're only gonna fall down from there. I think realistically, um, I think Alonso will, Alonso will certainly get us. We are comfortably in P8 now. I'd be stunned, staggered, if Alfa Romeo overtook us. But we are a race winner. A race winner in Formula One. That that feels absolutely awesome to say. Let's advance. Is Claire going to interview us? This will be the one time she doesn't. Great workout. Ah, oh, brilliant! Team. Finally. Let's have your thoughts. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? I don't. I don't want to say it was a comfortable win, but I'll I'll be honest. Um, I'll be honest with you. It was quite straightforward. Well, I didn't looks struggle. Like your luck has changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they? Um, I'm going to just say the, the the chassis, but you know the, the luck has changed. We had a number of DNFs this season where we crashed out. Passing all expectations. Um, anything or anyone stop you? Do that. Well, that's everything. But yeah, I mean, uh, first win for the team. That's mega. That's a mega effort that was. And considering it's what time is it at the minute? It's half one in the morning. That's you know, I've got to say it's probably my best drive on this game so far. We've we've extended our gap on Ocon. Look at the huge bounce forward. Um, in the acclaim that a race win brings look at that and the team acclaim as well just shot up so that's really wicked what about damage right explain how that works I'm just taking a screenshot of that and I'm going to upload it somewhere on social media because that doesn't make any sense to me at all you know why does that keep happening we've got 1.35 million in cash from that race, so I think that comes down to our race win bonus, which is very timely, I have to say. Um, or is that our total cash? I don't know. No, I think it is to do with the position positions. So there we go. A bit more money 1.35 million okay so not what i thought it was activities let's have come on let's have a podium celebration party come on and um, we'll do driver promotion filming got to have a podium celebration party for that that's fantastic um r d that's quite a big one because we can't do anything yet. We've got so many R&D points, but we can't do anything with them because um, we've got all the different parts in development. Unless... Can we do something? Yeah, we can do two. So maybe we can. Let's just have a quick look. So roll dampers, that'll give us a big boost for the chassis. Let's get them involved. Um, we can only do one at a time um, and that's in development so that's probably something we should look at as maybe doing two parts at a time um, to get that leveled up a bit so let's advance move forward podium party was amazing but that is it ladies and gentlemen what a staggering race our first ever race win in my team career mode I never thought that was going to happen it won't happen again for some time I guarantee it um, so we're just going to savour it and enjoy it for, well, my dreams tonight, to be honest, because I probably won't believe it. Um, but thanks very much for watching. For those that have tuned in, I appreciate it during the stream. Um, if you haven't done so, give us a follow already. I don't really like asking, but I do appreciate it if you have. But wherever you might be in the big wide world, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.